shocking riot that unfolded in New York City. A violent mob took over Union Square after a wildly popular social media influencer, Kai Sinat, urged his fans to show up for a giveaway. Man, what a crazy situation. Before we dive into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys could please share so we could get the word out there. Now, I believe his name is Kai Sinat. I believe that's the way you pronounce his name. Now, he's holding this whole thing where he wants this whole crowd to join him, right? He's giving away a PS5. Fives. He's given away multiple gift cards. And now I knew nothing about this individual. I guess he has over two, over like 20 million like followers, subscribers over all the social media platforms and all that. So this is a, this is a very big deal, especially for that age group, all these younger kids, right? And I have never heard of them until like recently. I know they had something like where well, they had fireworks going off in their house. That's when I first learned about this individual. So he has all these people show up now. Now, mind you, at the end of the day, is it his fault if these people are acting like complete fools? You see them jumping on people's cars, just tearing stuff up, breaking windows. There was a fire extinguisher, people just going all through. Is that really on him? Now, mind you, I believe they charged him with inciting a riot. Now, this certain charge, I believe in New York, carries up to a one-year sentence, and it could be like a $1,000 fine. Now, I don't believe that he's going to do any time over this, because you actually have to have some proof of him actually going out there and telling them to tear stuff up. Now, he didn't get the permit, is what I've been told, or what I've seen throughout all this, is that he didn't acquire a permit. So I think that's his biggest ordeal. He's just telling people to meet him, and then once they found out, they leaked this uh, SUV that he was in, just all hell broke loose they were all over on top of that just at the end of, where are the parents at what's going on if this were me or my brothers or sister this would have never been able to fly with my mother or my father how is this allowed to happen now the people that are just there trying to win a giveaway or a sweepstakes or whatever you want to call it if they're just there and they're just not doing that's fine i have no problem with that this is their favorite twitch streamer or youtuber have at it you know people go to concerts they go to all kinds of gatherings. People show up at rallies. Nobody has a problem with that. But the individuals, those the ones that are jumping on vehicles, tearing stuff up, where are their parents? Where is the accountability with that? I believe there's like over 60 of them were arrested. What will possess you just to complete? There is no way there's some type of father figure in the home, a strong mother figure in the home that knows that this stuff is going down. Oh yeah, mom. All right, dad, I'm just going now you know they're giving away these ps5s you know if i don't end up getting one i'm just gonna break in the windows on this police suv is that really how the conversation went down where is the accountability i would never what what is the purpose of this at the end of the day there's people twerking on traffic lights or the crosswalk what in the, what in the world is going on with the youth nowadays now uh, mind you this is the generation that's moving in over our generation right anybody around my age this is the new generation coming up and this is what what's really going on this is what's allowed to take place and allowed to happen why stay when things turned chaotic um i just feel like it was fun like for me it's new york it was literally youtubers that came out to show love but i don't know what's going to happen with kai in this situation i really don't feel that he's going to get completely charged with inciting a riot because at the end of the day i think they're just going to slap him with a hey, you didn't acquire a permit to have all these people show up so some kind of fine or community service or something like that i believe he's going to get hit with but that's not no excuse for this at the end of the day you had like trump had a rally in South Carolina, it's so over 50,000 to 80, some crazy amount of people showed up in just this small town. There was none of this. So at the end of the day, you have to look at these are people that attend the rally. You know, they're of course they're more older. So like, if this is just a younger generation issue where they feel entitled, they feel emboldened, where they can jump on vehicles, tear stuff up, get fire extinguished. At the who is that hurting but yourself, but the community? What is the point of that? What is the point of twerking on a crosswalk sign? What in the I I do not understand. I would love just to see just pick out ten 
10 of these ones that were arrested. And I want to know if they have a father or a mother, some, some type of pushback at home. And I can almost guarantee you that none of them do. Because if this was me or any of my, we would have been getting tore up. My mom, this would have never even been a thing whatsoever. So you guys tell me your guys' whole thoughts about this stuff. Do you guys think that he should be punished for having these people come down? And then they're the ones who tear stuff up because he issued an apology as well. We are deeply disheartened by the outbreak of disorderly conduct that affected innocent people and businesses and do not condone that behavior. But what do you guys think is going to end up happening? Do you think this is going to fall more on him or this needs to fall on the individuals? There needs to be accountability for these kids out here just tearing stuff up for no reason whatsoever. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you guys could please share so we can get the word out there. And I will catch you guys on the next one.